guys, it's me, Fat P, and today I'm going to do a tutorial video, which is different from my gaming videos. I just want to take a break, and I just want to help some people out there who are having some trouble with After Effects. So After Effects is a program that you can use to edit videos, of course, and images and stuff like that. And it's pretty much a fun program to use, but at first it may seem like a little confusing, like you don't know where to go because <laughs> there's so much buttons. But what I like to do is I like to help people, so I'm going to help people out there today who want a voice over tutorial on how to do a zoom in and a zoom out transition so first what we're going to do is we're going to go into composition and we're going to create a new composition you can name this whatever you want i'm gonna just keep it like that because i don't care but i have this 640 by 640 because instagram's resolution for it to like you so you don't have to rescale it is 640 by 640 so if you want like an exact resolution that is the exact resolution but you don't want you want this unchecked if you want a specific resolution because this is automatically just going to change it so yeah i have a 640 by 640 frame rate i do i don't mess with that i don't know if you guys know exactly what you're doing and you want to change the frame rate go ahead i'm not stopping you so you click okay so now we got a composition now first you want to find your your images or audio Images or audio uh, videos. So right here I have The Weeknd because he is my idol. I love him a lot. So we're just going to import some pictures. I'm going to do three pictures so I can do transition, two transitions. So we're going to pick that one. Those three right there. And then we're going to go uh, pick our audio. I already have one here, which is Coco Chanel. You know what I mean? I honestly... um. I take audios from YouTube, so maybe I just watch edits online, and I take, like, just some audios from there. You can also watch audio compilations or those things where they have plot twists and things like that. If you're looking for a specific genre, just type it in, and I'm pretty sure you find pretty much a lot. So you want to drag all your images or clips all in here, and then you want to put your audio at the bottom. So first, we're just going to listen to the song, and we're going to listen to the beats. So we can find out what we're doing. I think I'm going to cut it right there because I don't have like a welcoming screen or something. Like to promote your name. Stuff like that. So I'm just cut it to right there. If you want to learn how to split, you can click. You can do um, control shift D and it just automatically splits it like that. So to make to undo your your the recent the uh, the recent action that you just did you could just press control z which i just did right now so we're gonna just listen to the song okay so first you want to listen to the beats and you want to separate each clip by the beat we're gonna split the first clip just by that so splitting control shift d it might be different for MacBook users. Um, and then to like make it go exactly at the time indicator, you can hold shift and it'll automatically go. Then we're going to split it at the second mark, which is right there. Control shift D. And then we're going to do a control shift D at the second clip as well. If you want help um, splitting, you can also search other videos up online. Or if you want, I can make a tutorial on that too. So, okay, so now you're going to select your images or clips, whatever you're doing, and you're going to click, you're going to select them all and then click this icon so motion blur is activated on all of them. You can also click this right here so you can see what you're doing. So what I recommend doing is if you're going to do a zoom out, you're going to have to put motion tile so it's not like all like black screen in the background. So... I'm going to do a zoom in in the first transition. So we're going to zoom in like that with this button right here. And then we're going to press S. And if you want to rescale, you see like how this is like really weird. Like it's like smushed. You can put the first option like move around with the first option basically you can just mess around with the scaling okay i scaled all my clips now and i suggest you putting the resolution as quarters so it's not as 
you know it doesn't take as much long time as it does when it's rendering so if you want to go full go ahead it, i'm just telling you it freezes up a lot because it's like a lot of pixels and stuff at the same time so i suggest to be careful when doing that so first we're gonna put a keyframe at the last at the last like frame we see it we put a keyframe right there you can zoom out and in with this feature and then you can go eight keyframes back so out or however want however long you want the transition i normally do eight and i, I think it's pretty good um so i go eight back one two three four five six seven eight and then i put a keyframe right there and then you can click these arrows to go back, switching between keyframes. So right here, no, we don't get to see what we're doing. So I'm going to go keyframe back. I'm going to put that one there. Put, a, put this one a keyframe back as well. And then we're going to put the scale to max. <laughs> okay, basically his nose. Okay, not like that. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, basically like that. So we really want to zoom in. So... As you can see, the motion blur is doing its job and it's zooming in to his face. Okay, so now you're going to select all the keyframes. F9. And then now this is where I got lost on most tutorials. So I want to go through this through Roly. Click right here and then edit speed graph because I don't know how to edit the rest. So. so since this is an ending transition, transitioning to the other edit, we to the other, to the next clip basically, we want it to go to the end, so we put, we drag this one to the end, and then we drag this one to the end. So it looks all smooth, and it doesn't look rushed or anything, and it looks, it looks okay. Okay, so now that right there is a first transition. So now if you want to do a zoom out, what you want to do is you want to type in the effects and presets motion tile. And then you want to drag this into the clip that you are going to use motion tile. And then you're just going to mess with the output width and the output height. And then you're going to click mirror edges. So what this is going to do is whenever you... Okay, let's create a key keyframes right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to put a keyframe right there. Okay, so since we are coming in to this clip or image we are going to want to use the first keyframe as an entrance so we're going to use the effect on that one so now when we scale out all you see is the weekend everywhere <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't look bad when you are you know watching it so as you can see it just slowly smooths out like that so what you want to do is select all the select both of the keyframes f9 and then go to the graph editor, do the same thing, but don't do it to the end. So you're going to, since this is a beginning transition, you're going to want to do it to the opposite way, which is the front. So like that, now as you can see, there's more motion blur. And if you want it to look smooth and like not rigid and sharp, you could just do this like that. <laughs> now that doesn't look as bad. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a zoom out to a zoom in which is basically the same thing but it's different concept so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the end of this keyframe to end of this frame and then we're gonna do um another keyframe right there and then we're gonna go eight back one two three four five six seven eight and then we're gonna go arrow to the last keyframe oh gosh and then we're going to use this keyframe and we're going to do a zoom out like the same thing that we did in the beginning. And now you're going to F9 and it's the same thing with the zoom out that we did with the zoom in we did earlier. So you're just going to want it to the, the end because it's an ending transition. So now we have a, another zoom out. So now that we have a zoom out in that clip. We can we have to have a zoom in in this clip so we're going to do a keyframe right there at the beginning and then one two three four five six seven eight and then we are going to go back to this keyframe and we're going to do a zoom in 
and then we're going to F9, go to the graph editor, and then we're going to do it to the front since it's the beginning of this clip or image, whatever. Okay, so now that we have motion blur, we have motion tile, we have all the transitions that we want in the video. So let's play and see how it looks. Okay, it doesn't look too shabby, but after this video, I'm gonna obviously make it look better because I did not do correctly with the beats. So at the beginning of this video, when it says want this or something, I'm gonna just fix it up because, ooh, it does not. It don't look good. Okay, so I forgot to mention how to export your file. So how to export is you click over here in file. And if you are like consistently working on this project and it's going to take you a few days, you know, you could just save and then create a project or whatever. And then so once you're done with everything, like you have finished your edit and, you, you know, you can always go back to it in the project of you. But I'm finished with this forever. <laughs> so we're going to click file and then we're going to go down to export and then we're going to add to render queue. So what this is going to do is it's going to put this as a rendering file. So I honestly don't mess with these. I don't know if you guys want to mess with those, but I don't do anything because I'm scared. <laughs> but we're going to find where our weekend edit is. The weekend editing. Okay. So we're going to call this tut because i don't care <laughs> so we're gonna click render oh yeah i added a shake effect in the beginning which is a preset that i downloaded from the internet <laughs> wait <laughs> i know i'm not cheating i'm not cheating ah uh, okay it'll have a very very alarming noise at the end when it's done rendering so now we have our video and okay we're done. <laughs> I hope you guys learned how to do this with a confusing little girl who didn't even know what she was doing more than half the time. But I hope you learned. And if you need more tutorials, uh, tell me I'm not a good tutorialist because I uh, honest, oh, honestly forgot how to do a tutorial. Like It's been a decade. <laughs> but I hope you guys learned. And if you guys need any help, comment down below and I'll leave a I'll, I'll reply for sure. So, goodbye. Often I'm upset that I cannot fall in love, but I guess I support the stress of falling out of bed.